in an old book. An old book printed the previous century. Between the yellowing pages I discovered an unsigned watercolour, the work of a considerable artist. On the back he had written the image of love, homoerotic love, it seemed to me. You could see what he was getting at, at once. The boy that he had sketched was one of those beloved by deviant men. The face was exquisitely beautiful not masculinely handsome. Deep brown eyes, pouting lips half open, lovely limbs arranged in such a manner as would bring delight to definitely extramarital beds. Epitaph for Antiochus of Commagene Coming back from the funeral of her brother, King Antiochus of Commagene, his sister decided on an epitaph. The king had led a quiet, temperate life, Philosopher Callistratos, habitué of the royal household, composed some lines with the help of court officials, sent them to the royal lady. This is what he wrote. The glory of Antiochus the good fellow Commagenes, let us rehearse. He was prudent, just, wise, and generous. More than this, he was a Greek, than which is nothing better under heaven. Julian, observing negligence. I have seen that you neglect the gods, wrote Julian, in disapproving mood. Neglect? What else did the emperor expect? It was all right for him, intent upon his cults, relying on other people to oversee them. He was above all that. Unlike us, he had no Christian friends to censure him, even though he had been raised a Christian. He expected other people to implement his outlandish pagan worship. So they muttered, being Greeks, liking nothing in excess.
Theatre of Sidon, A.D. 400. Son of a solid citizen, they say, my friends in the theatre, they should know that I am a handsome lad. They cherish me and spoil me. Occasionally I compose in Greek rather naughty verses, which I circulate in secret, hoping they don't see them, the solid, sober citizens who dress severely and discuss morality. Songs of sex, my happy songs of sex. Not the procreative kind, of course. <laughs>